Hi everyone, hope you guys are well. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to measure on screen. So I normally use Bluebeam uh, to do my takeoff. Uh, this is a very quick process on takeoff, so you don't need to use uh, uh, manual scale to uh, do your takeoff. And uh, it is a very handy tool uh, when it comes to measuring corners and angles and diameter. Um, so uh, this is no free software so you have to uh, pay for the license it's normally for a standard one seat uh, license would be 349 dollars and if you buy bulk license obviously you get a discount so <clears throat> the website uh, you can visit which is bluebeam.com uh, this is the website where you can uh, download a free uh, version for a month. You can download a trial version for a month. So, I'm just trying to show you um, how to download the free trial version. So, it says download a free 30 day trial of review. So basically, you registered, you put all your details, and uh, the, then you can download. Now, I'm going to show you how to measure and how quick uh, the process is measuring on screen on Bluebeam. So I've got a copy uh, on my desktop. Uh, sorry, I forgot to say, if you're a student, you can get a free license. Uh, for for your course so if your course is one year so you can get a free license for one year if your course is three years uh, then you can get a student license for three years um, so uh, that's a good news for students and teachers okay so I'm gonna because here I go drawing bunch of drawings so I'm gonna open the drawings up in blue beam and then I'm going to quickly show you how to measure on blue beam. So I'm going to open with blue beam, which is review. Okay, so when you open your document, it's going to be something like this. So here you can see a window schedule I go on this one. And I'm going to show you how to measure uh, on this one. So obviously, as you can see, I go scale here, so I don't need to measure this one anyway. But I'm going to show you. So if you go, if you go one scale, um, on the drawing. So you just need a reference point, uh, for measuring. So first, you need to um. So I'm going to show you. So this is the measurement scale. So why you have to do? we have to calibrate so it's a scale calibrate and then i'm gonna measure from that point to this point and so this will be custom and the length of this door is 4935 so i put that in and that's it uh, that's in millimeter so i'm going to change that to millimeter so 4935 millimeter and then I'm just click on apply scale. So that's applied. So now if I want to measure, for example, uh, that sliding door from here to here. So I'm going to click there and measure the perimeter. Uh, from here to 
here. So just click OK. And this is 3.88 meter. So that's measuring in meters. So if we change that to, uh, if you want to change that to a millimeter, so we can do that. So you can say 3,884.24 millimeter. So that's length. We can measure <clears throat> using that. We can measure anything from here to there. As you can see, it's, it's 850. If you want to measure area, you can measure area as well. So as you can see, that symbol which refers to area. So just click there. And then we just measure the area of this panel. So it should be 3.31 square meter. Okay, so you can measure the length, measure the area, measure the angle. Uh, you can see this is an angle, this is for angle, this is for diameter. On this one, you can do poly length, can perimeter. In this one is just length. You can also mark up your drawings. So, as you can see, these are the symbols. So, you can use the these symbols for markup drawings. Uh, you can change the fill color, you can put yellow. Uh, you can change the 80%, 90% opacity. Uh, so you go polygon as well. can change your color reference you can change the percentage of fill opacity you can uh, you can put cloud and make comment on anything so you can just cloud that uh, cloud something and then you just uh, make your comment anything like this you can with the blue beam you can convert files from pdf to excel you can export file from Word document and to Excel workbook, PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, so basically you can do a lot of things on Bluebeam. Yeah, so that's it for me for today. If you guys like it, please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and please free, feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment box. And thank you for watching.